Hey, this is Lotus Comic Express. We're here live at Geekonomicon, guys. I'm here with the awesome Greg Berger. Now, it, for all you guys at home, he's the voice of Odie on Garfield and Friends, and more importantly, he's Gridlock. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Odie still barks and slurps and... Actually, Odie thinks he can talk. And uh, I'm also Squeak the Mouse on the same show. And Harry the Alley Cat, who lives in a garbage can down the street. And uh, Herman the Mailman, who has to call his wife before he delivers mail to the Arbuckle house, because things usually go very bad. But I was also Grimlock, Dinobot leader, and I still am. And long haul, and skyfire, and uh, I've had a very wonderful, uh, wonderful time being a voice actor. Now, just curious. Now, getting right down to it, um, how did you get into, into voice acting itself? I'm an actor. I I uh, have been in repertory theater. I've been touring in theater. I was in a show which uh, was seen. I, I had always pursued voice acting as another aspect of of a career. But I was seen on stage by Gordon Hunt, who was doing all of the voice direction at that time for Hanna-Barbera. He had asked to say hello after the show. Uh, I said, you've had my demo for months now. If you could move it from the bottom of the pile to the top of the pile, I'd love to be doing what you're doing. He said, well, you got a lot of nerve, don't you? And I said, usually no. I can be so <laughs> polite that, that uh, everything gets forgotten. But if if this is an opportunity, I'm not letting it go by without seizing it. And honestly, when I teach, which I occasionally do, I tell students the same thing, which is that an opportunity can become just another moment if you don't recognize it for what it is and seize it. It's changed every day of my life since. See, I'm exactly in the same boat. I, I, I live my last moment like it's my last. I mean, literally, and it's because of what we talked about off screen, of course, yesterday. But you're right. I I totally agree with you 100%. And it's if you don't seize the day, then you might not have another moment to be able to do that. Yeah, I think even the new cars can't really see around the next curve. That's true, and that's true. Now, with all with being that you're such a successful voice actor. Do you have any advice for people that are trying to get into voice acting? Because I know it's rather hard to get into voice acting itself. Uh, if you have access to any kind of theater training, it will serve you well. If you have access to any kind of improvisational training, it will train you well. You have to be able to make decisions quickly. You have to be able to commit to decisions. And you don't have an entire play to, uh, to, to find out who your character is. You need to be able to uh, stay in the moment, listen as much as you speak. You need a great sense of humor because most of it tends to have a humorous aspect to it, even if you're saving the galaxy. Meet Grimlock Smart! <laughs> uh, there's usually some aspect of it that makes it uh, animated. And, and on the simplest level, become an animated person be an animated actor if you're seeking to be an animated character. Most importantly, yeah. they are not looking for the next funny voice. They are looking for the next fully realized, fun, funny, serious, whatever it is, character. They're looking for fully realized characters. Once you understand the character, the voice will always stay consistent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, off screen, do you... Um now, I know you've done anywhere from Transformers to, obviously, all the characters that you named off. Do you have a favorite genre that you actually enjoy doing? Not a favorite genre. I don't have a, I have two children, but I don't have a favorite child. I like everything for its own reason. I like being in the now, and whatever project I'm working on is my favorite at that time. I get to do the voice of Eeyore sometimes in Walt Winnie the Pooh specials and uh, projects. So, awesome. so I get to lose my tail in the hundred acre wood too, <laughs> which happens more often than I can tell you. And I'm always looking for thistles. 
when I'm not Odie barking, or a big dino bot, or uh, any number of other creatures of all sizes, shapes, and species. I play uh, the first super tactical droid, General Kalani, on Clone Wars, of course. Uh, who reports to Count Dooku, I might add. And uh, it's all good. I'm not trying to avoid the question, but that really is the answer to the question. I love it all. I'm allowed to do what I love and make a living doing it. And that's a great gift. That's important. It's an important thing to do as well. And now with off, like off screen, I, I know you said you didn't have a favorite genre, but for all the people at home that um, are just now getting in your, into your work and all of that, aside for you know getting advice, actually being a voice actor, would you have ad any other advice as far as any of the film people that are just now looking at your work and seeing how amazing that is? Well, here's the deal. I think yeah. that the biggest part of what you do is who you are. Yes, um, no one is looking for the next mediocre person. Whatever makes you special, whatever makes you uh, interesting is what ultimately becomes your greatest asset. Um, I think you know, a lot of times in in early grades and even junior high and sometimes high school, there's this uh, desire in most people to sort of blend in and be be as much the same as everybody else as possible. But the the real outsiders are the ones that ultimately distinguish themselves. Why? Because they don't blend. And if you don't blend, you either uh, s step out in front or step to the side, whatever it is, it means that there are other things going on at the same time, aside from trying to fit in. And those are the people that become the genuine originals. And whether it's any art form that involves expression, the world is always hungry for the next original, not the next same as everybody else. No, I would, I would totally agree. And that's great advice, that's hugely great advice. Were you ever into comic books growing up as a kid? Uh, yes, but not to the degree that the people that I meet at comic conventions are. Um, I loved my Superman annuals, and uh, I like reading newspaper comics, too. Yes, sir. Uh, there's somebody here who's, who draws high and low, as I read that. Uh, you know, I love the Sunday funnies. I, I, there's something. And cartoon-wise, I was the kid with my chin on my fists every Saturday morning watching everything from Bugs Bunny on. So, yeah, and now I've been allowed to work with a lot of my cartoon animation heroes uh, as, a, as a colleague, and uh, that's, that's just a, a fantastic thing to have happen in life. Yes, sir. Well, I, I wanted to say thank you very much for your time. I, I do have one wrap-up question. Because you're gridlock in Transformers, all right, if you had a favorite superpower that you could own yourself today, what would it be? Favorite superpower? Hmm. I would like the ability uh, to bring peace to the world and, uh, and do it uh, in a manner in which nobody was hurt. Yes, sir. <laughs> Now, for people that are just now checking you out, do you have a website or a fan page that we can check out that we can help uh, support what you're doing? Sure. Best currently is uh, there's www.gregberger.com, and it's G-R-E-G-G-B-E-R-G-E-R, -E -E and also Facebook slash same name, G-R-E-G-G-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much for your time. Check out Mr. Burger, guys. Absolutely an amazing lineup as far as, as, as far as voices. I mean, absolutely an honor getting to have a couple minutes with him, you know. Check out his work with all of his fan sites. Check out LotusComics.com, and we'll see you here real soon, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. to perform his death-defying dive huh? into this glass of water. <laughs> of course, he may need a little encouragement. Come on, I'm gonna make you stop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
heal. Some little cat I'm gonna get. When you own pets, there's never a dull moment. <laughs>